Ladies and gentlemen, welcome Jason King. Come on up, Jason. Now, Jason is a ghost hunter, and I have to, I, I've said to Jason, look, I'm a bit of a skeptic, Jason. You know, like, I like the tales, I like the stories, but you know, when it comes down to the reality, I'm a man of science. And Jason uh, responds by saying, well, you know, I've got a, a lot of evidence to suggest that there are ghosts. Tell us how this started, Jason, because it started from tragedy, didn't it? Yeah, it started with tragedy. I lost my brother to a car accident. Um, like, I went down to this field and I was combined with him. I went home. I was married at the time. And just, like, sitting there and, like, sitting with you um, for two weeks straight, just um, talking with, talk with my dead brother. Okay, so you went, you went home after the funeral mm -hmm. and you were... Sitting, sitting in the lounge room. Sitting in the lounge room. And I looked beside me and my brother was sitting right beside me. And I thought I was going loopy, and like everybody else would. Yeah. You know, my ex-wife did that too. I was getting ready really to go to go and book myself in the hospital. And for two weeks straight, we were just talking every single day. And, and what was he saying to you? Oh, it was just normal conversations, you know what I mean? Like, like by this wood. And now, at, now, at this stage, did you start thinking, you know, this is my brain trying to, to respond to the yeah, grief? By yeah, I, I thought I was like mourning his death, you know, like a lot, a lot of us do. Yeah. And I'm sitting there, you know, and I just got to be an explanation for all this. And, and then after two weeks, it went past me. Um, he said, well, we've got some work to do. And me being stubborn, I thought nothing of it. And um, then I just started having the urge to go out, you know, go and do some ghost hunting, like the like, quarantine station. Okay, hey, 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 hey. so slow down for a second. So <laughs> your, your brother manifests himself for two weeks yep. in your home. No, nobody else saw him? No. Nope. Just you? Mm -hmm. Okay, and it would, would be in multiple places in the home? No, nope, just always in the lounge. Just always, always in the lounge? Out, always in the lounge. Just come home and sit in the lounge and have a beer. Yeah. And um, just sit there and just start talking away. And but it was the, the words that really stuck with you was... We've got some work to do. We've got some work to do. Yeah. Okay, and what did you take from that? Um, at first, uh, I didn't make any sense of it. You know, like, having, you know, your brother saying you've got work to do. I thought, okay, whatever, you know. And then suddenly, 19 years later, the way of today, going out exploring. Okay. Tell us about hunting ghosts. How do you go about it? What's the, what's the, um, the well, technique? Well, I get a lot of contacts from people's houses, you know, like, it's always the female that always rings me yeah. because the husbands or the boyfriends are really, you know, well, don't worry about it, it's nothing, but then the girlfriend or the wife gets really upset and gets to a stage where they can't take it anymore, so I normally cop the phone call. I go out and see them, and like I did, dealt with a family in Campertown. Um, the whole family was sleeping in the lounge room, the mum, the dad, and the kids. They were that terrified to sleep in their rooms. Well, what was happening in their rooms? Um, the young boy was getting tormented by a spirit. And we end up working out was from an ex-girlfriend that passed away was stopping him from driving a car. And the car that he could have been in a car accident. But So how, so how do you work that out? Like, um, you, you, just, no, I, want, I want you to, to yep. just paint the picture for us. You turn up to the house. Yep. And there's the family, and they're all sleeping in the, in the living no, room, yeah. saying, we can't sleep, we're too scared to sleep in our bedrooms. Mm -hmm. what, what, what did they tell you was happening? Um, like, he's telling, like, like, he's taking photos of the house and showing me all his photos, what he's getting in the photos. And you can see arms and faces and stuff like that. Me, I don't believe there's a haunting unless there's proof too. You know what I mean? Like, I won't go to somewhere and go, OK, you've got a spirit in the house, because it could be an explanation behind a lot of the factors, like it could be too much EMF from a microwave or too much EMF from a wire from a wall. So hang on a second, you're just going to slow down again. EMF, what's, what are we talking uh, about? Too much power. You know, just, like, you can sit under an arm, like have a, a wire behind you. And what, let, is, what is EMF? What's it's electromagnetic EMF. frequencies. Yeah. Okay. And if you sit there long enough, it will start playing with your head. So you probably start, so what was that? What was this? Right. So because I've got little equipment, I run along the walls to find if there's any, any coming out from the walls. and. Sometimes you do find that problem. So I tell them, you know, you've got to earth your house. Yeah, okay. And so. How do people respond when you turn up to a barbecue and, they, and people say, you know, what do you do for a crust, Jason? And you go, well, I'm really glad you asked. I'm a ghost hunter. Well, surprisingly. What, what kind of looks on people's faces do you get? Um, a lot of weird looks. <laughs> um, all my mates who I hang out with, um, they all know what I do. So it's quite funny because when they come up, oh, you know, look, I always find that everybody has got a story. Like, they either get passed on from family to family, or a friend or a friend will tell them what happened to them. 
So sometimes you'll get your negative, like she said, you don't believe. But then you've got people that tell you stories what happened to them. So basically everybody has got a story, but sometimes it takes a lot of people to realise what happens to somebody else but might not happen to you. All right, Jason. I, I don't know if I'm quite a believer yet, but you're getting me a little bit closer. Do we have any questions for Jason? The young fellow at the back. What's your name? Um, G'day, Owen. What's your question, Jason? Um, if you do go in a house and they're having problems with a ghost, how do you get rid of it? Sometimes just communication uh, through our guides. Uh, our guides will give us that information. And sometimes when the spirit gives information, they normally move on for us. Our, our, and we try and help any which way we can um, to get rid of them. All right, that is one of the more intriguing conversations I've had in a long time, Jason. Thank you very, very much.